guys are ridiculous. These guys are ridiculous. Now, how about them damn Celtics? And we are back with another episode of How About Them Celtics. Sam and I are here recording Monday. Suck. <clears throat> Sunday, we we're recording Sunday. You're hearing this Monday. Uh, we're recording after the Celtics Wizards game, uh, in which the Celtics just stomped <laughs> the Wizards. Uh, I so whenever I title these pods, Sam, I always like look up synonyms for like because I don't want to like write stomped for like a 15 point win because the Celtics have some 30, 50 yeah, point wins, yeah, or whatever. Right, 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 but I have to like so like the Suns game was like they handle the Suns, they you know squash the Suns. This one's going to be like fucking obliterated absolutely murdered <laughs> yeah the womp yeah that'll be it they'll be obliteration the wizards um sam and i watched the first quarter and a half two quarters um ish because then we had to go to our own game uh luckily for us we picked the correct game to do that because but also this game was kind of on at our gym yeah we TVs. watched a little there watched a little there but uh celtics beat the wizards um 130 to 104 uh sam hauser hits 10 threes in 22 minutes 49 seconds which is insane uh and then he got hurt which sucks uh had not points. thrilled about that not great um joe said he had a cautionary x-ray after the game which also doesn't sound great uh but we'll see uh tatum also had 30 points in his 26 minutes uh he came out firing in the first quarter Pritchard set a career high in assists. He had 14 points, 13 assists, five rebounds. Uh, Luke Cornett had four, <coughs> excuse me, 14 and six off the bench. Svi had nine points on three threes. I just good. Like th this, you said it when we, I saw you tweet it uh, before ball. Like this is what is supposed to happen when you yes, play the Wizards. <laughs> it absolutely is. Like Celtics came out, took care of business. It was like kind of back and forth at first. Jordan Poole probably played better than anybody thought he was going to in the real minutes of this game. It was like, oh, wait, what? He has 10 points already? After Jack and I were like, yeah, we'll go lower on the prize picks. And turns out we lost that one. Egg on our face. Al Horford, which was a point of contention, did hit for what it's worth. Um, but Last yeah. Week, uh, yeah. Jordan Poole played way better than anybody thought he would have to start this game in the Celtics in also Justin Champagne for what it's worth. He was uh, really strong in the first quarter. He had like seven, nine points, something like that right off rip. Mm. And then the Celtics are like, oh yeah, hey, we're better than all these guys. What do we need <laughs> to have a close game for? And then uh, Tatum really got going downhill, put his shoulders through guys, and then Hauser checked in or I mean, he started, but then he started shooting threes. <laughs> yes. Listening to this game on the way to basketball, Sean Grandy was going bananas <laughs> for these Hauser threes. They, him and Maxwell were completely in disbelief with how this man could not miss. I think he made seven in a row because he finally missed. And Grandy goes, he has now made seven of his last nine attempts. Yeah, well, so, the craziest part is his first three of the game didn't count because there was an illegal Horford moving screen. <laughs> so he actually had he got, he got point shaved. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. He got screwed. Um, yeah, Hauser, dude, I I've said this before. Watching Hauser make threes is like one of the most fun things to watch on the side because it's just I, I sit there. I've tweeted it before. I'm like. Whenever Hauser makes a three, like this is my reaction. If you're on YouTube, it's just <laughs> I just sit back and laugh. I'm like, oh, my, what the hell? Yeah, like, oh, this isn't fair. He'll come off. He'll come off the screen, right? He'll just come off, whoo, and it's just up. It's up in like one second. Like he, the defender doesn't have a chance. They don't have a prayer. He sometimes he does the Pat Connaughton where he just catches it up here and then it's gone. Like he doesn't. He does the no dip just, three. Whoop, whoop, Grant whoop, Grant whoop. learned how to do that towards the end of his Celtics tenure. And it's like a crazy skill that these guys have. Like, that is not easy. You usually like to reset, put it from the launch point, get it back up. He doesn't have to. And it's still not even hitting the rim, going straight through. He's great at moving without the basketball. I was talking to my dad after I got home from our basketball game here. And I was like, oh, yeah, like, how's our hon? He was like, yeah, he rolled his ankle, which I already knew because we had talked about it at the gym. But I was like, yeah, like, that sucks. Because without Hauser, do they really have another Hauser type? They have Mikhailu, who is okay. He is somebody who has not seen a shot he does not like. And he mm. can shoot it. But he doesn't play the ton of defense. 
Mm-mm. He doesn't have the same chemistry with the rest of the the main rotation guys that Hauser has Mm-mm. built. And it really sucks to think about not having him going forward. Now, if it's an ankle sprain, then, I mean, at most it's a month and a half. So you're not going to miss Hauser in meaningful playoff games that you should absolutely need knock on 100%. Wood. Knock on right? wood. Knock on wood. <laughs> and uh, if Joe's saying it's precautionary, then I don't know yes. if it's broken. I don't think he's walking off the court if it's broken as somebody that is uh, a recovering ankle sprain victim. Did he walk off the court? You. He did to a rousing ovation. By the I will way. say, I think from what I've heard, a bad sprain is worse than a break. Unfortunately, mm-hmm. um, like the worst sprain is like worse than a break just because it's harder to like fully heal. If that makes sense. So I, I can know see that. that would be better because a sprain um, is a ligament. It, it, you stretch yeah. the ligament. That's what it is. Yeah. Uh, but do we want? Can we watch Hauser's threes? I just want to watch this motherfucker. Like pull it up. <laughs> I thought you were saying we watch him hurt his ankle. I was like, are no, you okay? No, no. no, I want to watch. I want to watch all ten of this guy's three pointers. Pull him up, dude. That's I'll mute it. We don't have to listen to it because the audio listeners are probably upset, dude. He just okay. I was gonna say if that's the make. Dude, the way he moves off the ball is so nasty. Like just, just, and he like if Hauser makes a three, it is almost never hitting the rim. Like this dude is just cash, right? Every just single straight time. through. It's insane. Oh my god! Dude. Is Sam like Hauser said, a front runner though? Now that the game's not close, all of a sudden they're going in. No, no, no. He makes them in his short stints too. He does. And who else was gonna score in this game? Come on, <laughs> me, <laughs> dude. The movement shooting is insane. Like, it's like I didn't have a chance. He didn't have a chance to even contest it. By the time he got around the screen, Hauser's shot was up. <laughs> I don't remember who it was we talked to about this last year, Jack. And if you do, remind me. But they were saying Sam Hauser is the type of guy, it might have been Timmy G, that if he's on the floor, he should be one of your top two scoring options. Yes, yes, yes. And I don't think that's that outrageous of a take because it's a truly lethal skill that he has knocking down threes. He's so comfortable moving Mm -hmm. without the basketball. He doesn't need attention like that. And if you get him the looks, he's probably going to make them. He is somebody that you would not want to have to deal with as a defender, chasing him around. Look at how hard... They're making this guy work here, and then they eventually get the switch onto Pool, who's brain dead. <laughs> if that's not Pool, then I'm sorry to whoever that may be. I think that was Champagny. Champagny, okay. I don't have it blown up, so I, I can't tell completely. But he's this just is, unconscious. This is insane to watch a lot, or not live, but this is insane to watch like come to fruition. They just ran elevator screens for Hauser. Oh yep. my god. That's like a curry set for those <clears> that <throat> like question. aren't paying attention. How many teams do the Celtics play a year? Like out of the 29 teams they play, where Sam Hauser is not the best pure shooter on the floor? Uh, Golden State, no. Yep. Um, I'd say Duncan Robinson, just purely out of tenure. Uh, Duncan Robinson's it's, it's done closed. it for longer. Exactly. That's why I think the respect should be there. Tim Hardaway Jr. is looking really, really good at this. He is, he is, but he. I don't think he like. He's more of a bucket, not a pure. Catch he shooter. is a bucket. Yep, he, he can do more. Um, ah, uh, Dame's probably a better shooter than Hauser. Sure. Okay. Yeah, not this year. Sure. No, no, not no, this no. year. Oh, but you know what I mean. Though. Okay, then this year. F- fuck, fuck the Bucks. This year, we'll go this year. This year, I mean, Grayson <laughs> Allen is pretty good. Yep, I agree. So that's three. Let me look at the league leaders uh, for three point percentage. Um, Luke Kennard. That motherfucker can shoot the ball. <laughs> that yeah. that dude, that dude can shoot it. Um, <clears throat> the point is, Sam Hauser is up there. He's thirteenth in three point percentage this year among players. Buddy Heald is, yeah, but like this guy is. Oh, he's not thirteenth. Sorry, this is last year. He is. Wait, that can't be right. Now I'm losing my mind. What's this? <laughs> it, it. I control F Hauser, and it said, um. 200th. I'm like, wait, what? It's because it's sort of NBA.com is the absolute worst, dude. I hate I'm on, basketball, I'm on basketball reference. Uh, I hate four- basketball reference. <laughs> he's 14th in the league right now. Oh my God. Herb Jones is shooting 43% from three this year. I saw some tweet gassing what? up Herb Jones not that long ago. And <laughs> if he's like, shooting hey, the ball, he is nasty. <laughs> like, Pelicans are like sneaking up on teams. I think they beat somebody yeah. pretty good yesterday. Who'd they play yesterday? Uh, Clippers, my, right? Clippers, yeah. I mean, Clippers are a good team, man. Beat the Clippers two days ago, and they beat the Blazers a day ago, which is like a really good tribute. But yeah, Pels are real good, man. Now, Hauser, though, dude, he is. 
it's so fun to watch him shoot the ball. He's incredible. Uh, credit to Tatum, too, because, like, he came out this game. Well, first of all, credit to Tatum for fucking playing in this game in the first place. Yes. <laughs> like, he talked about this after the game, too. I don't Tatum know if you saw the game? Yeah, he said, um, let's, see. let's see. Good friend of the program, Bobby Kravitsky, put out the clip. <laughs> Let me pull Paste. it up. He talked about. Um, I can play it if you want. I can share screen. it. Hold up. I've been here seven years. They understand kind of what they're dealing with. I don't like to sit out, especially on the road. There's so many fans out there with Tatum zero jerseys or came to see me play. Tatum, by the way, who had somebody that uh, postponed their surgery and they had a sign in the crowd today. Football season may be over, but the action on the floor is heating up. Whether it's a tournament season or the fight for a playoff home court, there's no shortage of high stakes basketball moments this time of year. Get in on the excitement with Prize Picks, America's number one fantasy sports app, where you can turn your hoops knowledge into serious cash. Testing my skills on Prize Picks this season is the most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. If you have the skills, you can turn $10 into $1,000 with just a few taps. Prize Picks is really simple to play, and I can make my picks and submit my entry in less than 60 seconds download the app today and use code clns for a first deposit match up to a hundred dollars use the code clns for the first deposit match up to a hundred dollars pick more pick less it's that easy that is insane dude just this i've said this like in the past and i know you we've talked about it and you agree like the fact I feel like people take for granted that the Celtics have a superstar who legitimately wants to play in every single basketball game. Like that is not like so many players, so many stars around the league. And this isn't like, like I don't think Jalen or D white. I think everybody in the Celtics wants to play every single basketball game. And the only reason they don't is because Al who is 50 and Chris stops, who is hurt, like or has an injury history. So they're being careful, but like all of these guys want to play in every single game they can. Yeah. And you can't say that for like 20 teams around the league. Like, that well, is such a blessing. In fairness, I mean, who would want to be playing on this team? Well, exactly. They're winning every time. Exactly. <laughs> but 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 that starts with the fact that they're all in. They're all like fully locked in, want to play, yeah. going to be out there every single time. I'll be there no matter what. Like they will Yeah, be, I'll be there no matter a, what. A Sunday night, 6 p.m. in Washington, first leg of a back-to-back against a team, a Washington team that's won four games at home all season and is missing all four of their starters. Tatum goes, Yeah, fuck it, I'll play. <laughs> what? That's so sick. I hope he plays against Pistons. That's sick. I'll be devastated. I hope, so too. I, I hope so. What am I going to do if Tatum's not playing if I go? I'll have to find somebody else to shit on. Um, I will. Don't worry. Uh, I'm don't, not worried. Was, don't you I was worry. worried for a second. Uh, he was awesome. <laughs> Pritchard with the 13 assists. I uh, love to watch some of his assists too because I didn't. Career like... high 13 assists for Pritchard. Yeah. This was the part of the game where I think we I mean, were. Everybody got to eat today. Away. Luke Cornett, 14 <laughs> points off the bench. Another big yeah. big boy Luke game. I would mm-hmm. say thumbnail, but Hauser had the big game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was going to tweet it at halftime. You should I was put like... him on the thumbnail just to piss people off. Because, you know, like, they'd be <laughs> no, like, no, what no. do you mean Hauser had a 30-point game? <laughs> I've got to, uh, I've got to, it's got to be Hauser. And I was going to tweet out at halftime, like, hmm, I wonder who the thumbnail's going to be today. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see. Uh, let's, we can discuss Peyton Pritchard while we watch his assist. Speaking of tweeting, <clears throat> 500 followers on the pod Twitter. Oh, W. If you're listening here, go follow it. How about them C's on Twitter? Mm-hmm. Mm. There's a lot of Pritchard talk after the game. Doing a whole lot, but I, I tweet <laughs> memes from there if I'm sitting around. <laughs> We're out there. Um, <clears throat> what was I going to say? Uh, Pritchard a lot of dimes. Pritchard talk. Yeah, yeah, sorry. A lot of Pritchard talk after the game. Missoula saying he's like one of the most underrated like contributors to this team. And Al Horford was asked about it. He goes, yeah, I li- we like it that way. <laughs> Let nobody know about this guy. Dude, Pritchard, I, I, I'm saying a lot of like repetitive stuff, but this is the game for it because like just all good things. The fact that this man under the new CBA is going to make seven mil to eight mil a year. Dude, like, <laughs> this is such a steal. Are you kidding? Like Pritchard is... I. I Pritchard would be a 30 minute per game player on a lot of teams. I stand by. I that. don't, I don't want this to be taken out of context, but, and I, and I don't want it to happen, mm. but if it came down to it, I think the Celtics could compete for a championship with Pritchard as their starting point guard. Whoa, 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 knock on one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I agree. I'm not, like, I'm not talking in respect to this season. I just mean like, 
you know, like there's this weird like, oh, Holiday has to opt in or or they have to re-sign him. And then they you have the Derek White extension coming up. Like if you really wanted to pinch pennies here and, and cut corners, I think you, you shouldn't get away with it. I don't think you, you should. should. And you shouldn't push oh. it. But I think you get away with it. He, he's way better than I think he gets credit for. You see anytime he has extended minutes, he's consistently setting up his teammates as well as getting his own buckets. And he's somebody that you can, can you can trust to control the game a little bit. Mm-hmm. I agree. Look, I mean, look at him. He just dribbled through five defenders, yeah. found Tillman in the corner, who drove to lane on Patrick Baldwin, who provided zero resistance. Um, <clears throat> he's so good at controlling the pace. Not to mention, like, that was a crazy three by Sima Kailu. Sima Kailu gets so high up on his threes. That motherfucker jumps five feet in the air when he shoots the ball. Um, but what I was going to say is, not to mention the fact that like he shoots forty percent from three. Like the, like a lot of point guards like, will be great at one thing, but maybe they're like ah oh, thirty five percent shooters. Like no, he is not only a great playmaker, can thrive with the ball in his hand, create his own shot, but he's also one of the best off ball shooters at the point guard position off the bench, like in the NBA. Like he's one of the best off ball guys in the league. So <clears throat> credit to him for that. Luke was good too, like you mentioned. Jaden Springer got in the game for like two minutes and got in a fight, which is sick. I love that. I'll look up the clip, but that's why they brought him here. It was literally like within a minute of him getting in the game too. This wasn't like, Oh, he played like only 60 minutes and he got in a fight in that time. Like, no, he was in the game for like 30 seconds. And he immediately got into. Well, also we had match. like a while back, somebody in the comments be like, we need somebody with grit. Here you go. Grit. Yeah. Look at that. Love that. <clears throat> also ratless this guy for pissing off Al Horford earlier in the game. So deserved. You, yeah, you know it's tough if back. Jack's calling you this guy. If it's me, it's a little different. I'm I'm well, not it's... paying attention to the dark corners. I do know league. it's Eugene. It's Eugene Omiori, but <laughs> it, it's effectively it's this guy. It's Eugene Omiori, but um, I know he was on the Thunder last year, but I don't know where he went to school. Uh, I think he's an Oregon guy, actually. Ah. I hope I'm right. Wait, or maybe I'm just thinking of Eugene, the city in Oregon. <laughs> They got some um, weird cities out there. Like just yeah, I lied. Cities. He didn't go to Oregon. He went to uh, Ruck. Oh no, he did. He did. He was Rutgers then Oregon. See, okay, that's knowledge. That's ball. Um, do you remember the play where he pissed off Al though? He it was like no. It takes a lot to like make Al angry. I feel like I feel like Al's just a pretty like, yeah yeah fuck it. I'll just hang out whatever guy. But <clears throat> he was like battling through a screen. Like Al was trying to set a screen on Omiyori. Now you're going to make me say his name for the rest of the time because I don't want to call him this guy. <laughs> you can call him this guy. I just thought it was funny. I was like, you my know ball. everybody. No, no, no. I can't have my ball knowledge being questioned. My ego. Um, but uh, he was, like, fighting through his screen. Um, and Horford, like, fought back. And then Omiori just, like, pushed him to the ground, effectively, like, with the guy who was getting through the screen, which might have been Poole. <clears throat> but, uh, when does this happen? It was early in the first – or three minutes left in the first quarter. I'll, we can watch it. I might have um, been getting dressed. This was Baldwin, but yeah, he's just like entangled with Horford and they're fighting, and they yeah. give him a little elbow, and then just they both just like, <laughs> and then yeah. everyone's like, oh, <laughs> it's a, but <clears throat> it's questionable. Uh the fact that we're at 17 minutes already is like credit to us because you know there's nothing else you don't have to ask. <laughs> yeah, you were about uh, to I will say, say anything though. else? No, <laughs> we do have full pot tomorrow, but I do need to rat list you tonight. Me, you get the rat. Yeah, you get the rat list. <laughs> so Sam and I got back from our men's league game, and Sam, you made me feel like fucking Thanasis. You were trying to feed me a bucket. <laughs> I want to get you a bucket. Everybody scored today. <laughs> I felt like th- I know, I know, and I appreciate that. But you were like, oh, let's feed him, feed him. I'm like, I, if I don't get the bucket in the flow of the offense, I don't. It was. It wasn't even like it wasn't even like get you a bucket. I just wanted to get you a shot. I appreciate that. Was that. I got what it was. I did get a shot. I shot. I got a shot yeah. early in the game. I got okay. a three. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. but I don't. I don't need the bucket. I, I'm. I'm having a good time. If no, I, if no, I, don't... I wasn't trying to be a dick. I just was like, Jack, <laughs> no, I know, I know. Shoot the ball. I wanted you to shoot. I know you were trying to be a dick. I just thought it was funny at the time, and I was like, wait, this sounds like the Nazis. I'm definitely gonna fucking say this on the pod. It'll be funny. <laughs> No, the one time I try and be nice to you, you put me on the rat list. This is un- I will mm-hmm. never be nice to you. Teach again. you a lesson, yeah. It yeah. should teach you. A I need lesson. to stay in character. <laughs> Shout out Proc though. He matched Hauser. That is insane that he matched Hauser. Get our team at ten threes. Proc from the pregame chat today. Dude, he, yeah, he's, he's back nasty. there uh, next time we do one. Congratulate him. Yeah, I see. I got hey, I got my like four rebounds. I got a block on a six foot eight guy, 
And I got Yeah, you played good I'm, defense. I'm I'm taking that. Out. If I can do that, I'm having a good time. Uh, also, Henry rat listed himself because he know he it was gonna happen. Um, I get home. I get home. Oh, I'm in the bathroom. In the shower. He wasn't even in the shower. I get home. I'm in the bathroom. He texts me. He goes, I have been lazy. I haven't showered yet. Are you going to shower? I'm like, do you want to just oh, go now? Oh. And I'll go later. And he didn't know I was coming home from basketball. So I was like, yeah, I just got home from ball. He's like, oh, shit. My bad. Yeah, that's the hand up. He basically did hand up. My bad. Uh, all right. We can wrap there. Uh, how's his driving coming along? <laughs> I actually went driving with Henry the other day. I like, know. He told drove. me that you had to go with him. He's, he's actually like parks better than I do. So he's yeah, pretty, yeah, yeah. He's All better right. than I am. My Go mom says Henry. you can't let him uh, listen to anything funny in the car. Or actually, I think Kalen might have said that. <laughs> That's so sick. I, I hope Kalen. One, one of Kalen the ladies just... in my life said, uh, "Don't let Henry laugh behind the wheel." No, no, no. Uh, no laughing. We'll be uh, unfunny. But appreciate y'all for tuning in. Thank you for listening. Make sure to subscribe to have them. How about them Celtics? Leave a like in the video. I'm going to keep plugging it because Tyler Rucker's a beast. We just dropped a two hour pod with Tyler yeah. on it for an hour of it. Uh, recapping, you know, draft prospects, who you guys should watch out for in March Madness from a Celtics perspective, who they could target with the 30th pick. Tyler's awesome. He's from No Ceilings. That's up on the channel right now. It's called a Celtics fans guide to the March Madness tournament. Uh, with Tyler Rucker. It's the thumbnail, Zach Eady, Jared McCain, Tristan De Silva with Celtics Draft Watch on the front. Go check it out. We'd appreciate it very much. I, I think it's one of the better pods we've done in a while. So check that out. Here's we just appreciate some insider it. info on who the Celtics <laughs> yes, are looking at, too. Check it Don't out. I'll let it. you uh, wrap it up. Yeah. So, like Jack said, check that video out. It is like kind of evergreen until the tournament is over. So, if you're just curious, like as Thursday, Friday roll around, oh, who should I be paying attention to as I probably put my like paycheck on the tournament games? Uh, Tyler will tell you it's in the video. We, we talked about everything. We talked about Zach Eady. We talked about, uh, all the prospects. We talked about Bronny, uh, talked about the Pistons. If you like that bit, we, we did a little bit of our Pistons. So definitely do it. He's a great guest. He's, he's good with us. He loves the Celtics and we love having him on. So definitely go check it out. Uh, that and other videos will be on the channel. So hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of them. They go up at 5 a.m. every day. Later today, as you're hearing this, we'll be doing Talking Seas at 11 a.m. with Bobby Kravitsky. Uh, we will be talking about this game. We'll be talking about the Pistons game. We'll be talking maybe a little bit about the Bucks game, even though we'll have another Talking Seas before that. And then our streams are live a half hour before every single game. It'll be Jack and somebody pregame tomorrow. I'm out. I'm going to the game as a fan, so I cannot broadcast. But I'll be on the recap. I'll bring all my stuff. And by the time I get back, you'll be done with pressers. It'll work. And, um, okay, yeah, Spotify, Apple, follow us there. Audio versions of the pods and game recaps right to your inbox. Leave a five-star review. We would appreciate it very much. You can find us via email, hbtcpod at gmail.com. We are going through, checking out your emails. We want to hear what you have to say about the team. We love to read them. We read them on the pod. So you can email us there, get in touch with us. You can find us on socials. Like I mentioned, Twitter just hit 500 followers at How About Them Seas. Same handle for TikTok and Instagram. The Facebook is just the name of the podcast. All streams are on Facebook. They're on YouTube and they're on Twitter. Jack's Twitter's at Jack's Money NBA. Mine's at Sam LaFrance NBA. That's it for us. Bye. Tick, tick,